What is good? We're back. Well, I'm back. The boys are off. They're sick. Uh, but the show's got to go on. You know, two guys are sick. Got good genes. Good Levi's over here. So only the strong shall survive. I'm out here. We're going to keep this podcast rolling. Um, so today we're going to get into some dynasty stashes. And we're going to start off with the running backs, of course. Um, but now these aren't going to be stashes that we're talking about. Hey, stash away your first round uh, rookie picks from last year. You know, stash Chris Olave, stash uh, Kenny Walker. Uh, these, these guys are going to be um, end of the roster waiver wire type guys. Um, these, these guys aren't necessarily going to be league winners per se. Um, but they're going to be guys that right now you could probably go add to your roster for free or very cheap as a kicker in a trade. Um, and, you know, I, I know if you don't have a team full of top 30 players, um, what are you even doing? But in the world of in the real world of, well, fake football, um, you can always use a little depth. Um, and I know nobody likes to talk about it, but. Uh, I think some of these guys that we're about to talk about could be good either spot starts for you or, um, you know, maybe even the uh, the situation changes where some of these guys are free agents or the incumbent in front of them uh, are going to be free agents. So you might could get a little value swing and maybe you end up trading them or being able to use them in a trade uh, in the offseason or, hey, maybe you end up just straight up drafting these guys. But. I know when you're in the middle of the season and you're cra- c- catching shrapnel, um, just crushed with injuries, depth is, can be a very important thing. And I think some of these guys um, could help you provide that. And again, we're going to start with the running backs here. Um, and we're going to kind of do the FFPC st- type guys. And if you're not familiar with that, that's like a m- little bit more shallow 20 to 22 man uh, kind of roster. So maybe some of these guys are a little fringy and more in the, the not quite on your waiver wire, but could be uh, kick-ins in a trade. And then we're going to work uh, from uh, highest DLF ADP to lowest ADP. Um, so the first guy on the list is Jerome Ford. Um, he's at 194 for DLF. Now Kareem Hunt and Dearness Johnson are unrestricted free agents coming into next year. Um a little bit about Jerome Ford. Uh, he was he transferred from Bama, so he was a was a high level talent. Thirteen hundred yards, nineteen touchdowns, six point one per carry last season at Cincinnati. Once he transferred, he's got four four speed, five eleven, two fifteen. He's been on the IR for a good portion of the season now. That could that could hurt you in the waiver wire position because he is on IR. Um, so maybe somebody's not being not having to drop him t- because of a, of a bench position. Um, not sure if I should have looked that up, but not sure when he is coming off IR or if he even is. Um, but I know Chubb was a little nicked up. Um, and then, like I said, Kareem Hunt's out of there. Um, you know, Dearness Johnson is out of there. Um, I think this guy is, is a little, like I said, a little bit more of a fringe guy to start off. Um, but if he's available, you definitely want to scoop him. Um, you know, Nick Chubb is not super old, but he's 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 getting to the, the age where people like to uh, worry about older running backs. And, you know, to be fair, Nick Chubb ha- had a, a fairly serious knee injury that, you know, worried me when he first came in a little bit um, and really hasn't been much of an issue. But, you know, as you get older, those things could could start to flare up. And I just think uh, Jerome Ford is somebody that I definitely like trying to scoop up off a waiver wire if he's in your FFPC or uh, and, and any kicker in a trade. And what we mean by that is, you know, uh, you got, you're trying to put together a deal and this guy isn't going to necessarily tip the scales in any way and say, hey, whoa, 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 I, I need a two back or I need a three back if you're going to throw Jerome Ford in. He, he's a guy that you're just going to try to pluck off of there and say, well, I'm building the trade. I'm just going to th- use him kind of as a throw in that I really want. I'm not going to let him break the trade, but nobody's going to really assign too, too much value to him. Um, so maybe you can just kind of get him for free in, in another deal that you're working. Um, next guy on the list, Dontrell Hilliard. Um, he's coming in a DLF 80, uh, ADP of 205, unrestricted free agent this year. Um, again, another guy who just went on IR had a little bit of a neck problem. So, you know, that that could be hurting you a little bit because 
he's on IR and not hurting somebody's roster spot. Um, but also another quick aside here is, you know, if you're, you should go find guys who are on IR right now and, and just put them on there. Even if they're, they're not great, just go ahead and fill up your IR spot going into the off season. And, you know, maybe something comes of it. Maybe it doesn't, you can just cut those guys, but, but fill up that spot. You might as well. Um, anyway, Dontrell Hilliard is an unrestricted free agent this, this coming off season again on IR. Um, but let's give you a little bit of why I like Dontrell Hilliard here. Um, in 21, he had, he played basically seven games. Um, he had 26 targets, 19 receptions. Uh, you know, that's pretty decent. So there's some plus receiving ability in here with Dontrell Hilliard. 56 attempts in 21, 350 yards, 6.25 um, career uh, per carry, I believe, uh, is what that number is. If not, that maybe might have been the 21 number. Sorry. Um, so, you know, Decent numbers there with that. And then if you go into his only double digit touch of that year, he had 12 touches um, and he went for 131 and one in that outing. Um, so, you know, averaging a decent amount per touch in 21, 6.25 plus receiving ability in seven games, 26 targets, 19 receptions. Uh, and again, 56 attempts, 350 yards. Uh, so, you know, nothing great, but again, when he got a little bit of a, of a chance to get double digit touches, only one where he had double digit touches was 12 and went for 131 and one. Um, and then in 22, again, not a whole lot of action here, but again, shows you that plus receiving 26 targets, 21 receptions, four touchdowns. Um, and in the only game in this season, when he touched it more than three times, he put up 83 yards on eight carries. Um, so I think there's a little bit of juice there with Hilliard. Um, I, I'm not necessarily saying he's going to go out there and get get a workhorse role, but um, I think he could carve out a role. And then if there was any injury to uh, bringing him in as some veteran depth, I think he could take it over and, and get you a nice couple of spot starts. And that's, again, what this is about. We're trying to get depth guys who can come in and give you spot starts. If you got some injuries, Hilliard, even this year, you know, wasn't great, but he was, you know, he could catch a ball and, and, and get you in the end zone. And, and it's, it, it's not what you're looking for necessarily, but I think there's a little bit of juice to Hilliard here. So, um, down trail Hilliard next on the list, Jordan Mason, uh, two Oh eight comes in next on the list. He's a rookie from Georgia tech. Uh, he's on the Niners. He may have been scooped up. He had a nice run to end the game at the Seahawks game, and that was a standalone Thursday night game. Um, he had may have been even scooped up and dropped once to Christian McCaffrey and then maybe picked back up with Elijah uh, Mitchell going down on IR. But Jordan Mason's a name that should not be on your waiver wire if he is. Make sure you scoop him up. Um, Elijah Mitchell hasn't been able to stay healthy. CMC's had, you know, injury plague for the last two seasons. Jordan Mason seems plenty capable of, of carrying the mail for this team. Um, so if he is out there, make sure you get Jordan Mason. And now, you know, again, could be a, a any any trade that I'm putting together that has uh, Jordan Mason on the team, I'm going to throw him in and try to get him in every trade that I'm doing and just put him on the bottom of my roster and stash him away. Um, this guy makes the list at 218. Uh, prior to Sunday, obviously, Deion Jackson. Uh, he was out there in a lot of FFPCs. Uh, me and Big Co has, have had added him in a few um, because we did have JT. And even in one that we didn't have JT, he was just sitting out there and it was like, hey, let's throw a buck on this guy and scoop him up. Um, Obviously, after this week, probably not out there a whole lot, um, but a very capable backup um, and can give you spot, spot duty if anything uh, should happen to um, Jonathan Taylor. Uh, so we, we've liked what we've been seeing from Deion Jackson. But again, a little bit of a bummer because of kind of what happened with Jonathan Taylor for your fantasy team. Obviously, if you're starting Jonathan Taylor this week or that you won't be able to scoop him up for uh, next to nothing here. So he, he, he's probably being acquired before this video comes out. But again, he's going to be, I believe, uh, a restricted free agent or an un unrestricted free agent next year. So he'll have another opportunity. And he, he's played well, uh, given the opportunity. Next guy on my list is uh, the Ernest. Johnson, he's uh, he's coming in at DLF ADP 201. Um, this guy is, is most likely out there in a lot of the leagues, a nice free stash here, or again, a kicker in a trade. Um, but what I like about Dearness Johnson, 5.2 career yards per attempt. Um, 
And then going back to kind of cherry pick some some stat lines when he was the guy, um, some some pretty good numbers here. Uh, 19 attempts for 99 yards, eight targets, seven catches, 58 yards. This, these, these are games going back a year when he had uh, the opportunity to be the guy in a game. Uh, 22 carries, 146 yards, a touchdown, two receptions, 22 yards. Uh, 25 attempts, 123 yards, a touchdown, one reception, uh, 10 yards. So when given the opportunity to be the guy, he has he has really flourished in that role. He certainly has some juice to him. Um, he is also an unrestricted free agent, like I let off with Jerome Ford while liking him because he's you know he's kind of only got Nick Chubb in front of him right now. Anything can happen. These these. Some people will get shuffled around. There's obviously a big crop of running backs, uh, free agent wise, um, coming in. And there's obviously a good crop of, um, rookie running backs coming in. But for right now, like I said, scoop these guys up, put them on your team. What's the worst case scenario? You got to cut them or you got them for free in a trade or you threw an extra fourth at them or something or whatever. So keep, keep, uh, the Ernest Johnson should be in every one of your crosshairs. Um, and then some other guys here, a little bit less exciting, a little bit less juice on these guys. Vikings running back, either one of those. Tyler Chandler, he's been on IR for most of the year. Uh, Kine Naganu, um, he's at DLF ADP 286. Um, Madison is an unrestricted free agent um, in the coming year here. Dalvin's the only other running back on the roster. He's 27, 28, basically dead in a lot of people's eyes. He gets nicked up. Um, so, you know, be sure you scoop up Ty Chandler or uh, Naganu, if not both, if you have the chance. But, you know, roll the dice, take take one or the other. Like I said, Chandler's been on IR uh, for a good portion of the season. Um, and then a couple more to just round these things out who don't have uh, any ADP for DLF. Uh, Salvin Ahmed, uh, he's still only 23 going on 24. You just saw him in uh, coming in in the uh, in the Bills Dolphins game. Um, he is on the Dolphins still. Um, he's a running back out of Washington. Still, like I said, very young here. Um, you, you, you know, you just saw it. I mean, he, he may be scooped up after this week because Jeff Wilson was hurt and Mostert's really one of the only healthy guys on that roster. Uh, and then going back to the Dolphins roster, I, I believe Ahmed, uh, Jeff Wilson, Mostert, uh, the next guy on the list, Miles Gaskin, all unrestricted free agents. I don't know that the Dolphins have any running backs under contract next year. Um, so, you know, Ahmed could maybe they bring him back for cheap if he has a nice run here or, you know, both Ahmed and Gaskin, you know, nothing sexy about them, but they're free and they've had points in the NFL where they've, uh, you know, been a useful player and startable in your lineups. Um, and again, you just got reminded of Ahmed in this last game up in Buffalo for Miami and still, like I said, 23 going on 24 miles, Gaskin 24 going on 25. Uh, good pass catching back with with Gaskin there um and and you know given a chance to be a two somewhere or somebody gets hurt and and can run around a little bit i think either one of those guys um worth just rostering on the back end of your on your team here going into next year seeing what happens and then kylan hill is the last one for me just because i love the guy coming out of out of college here um got banged up was was getting some special teams and a little bit of run here and there recently cut from the packers uh, with LaFleur citing some, you know, not loving him in the role that he necessarily had coming back off a long rehab injury. So, you know, I don't necessarily love that attitude um, per se, but we'll see how that play, plays out. And I think there's there's some talent and some skill there that like there was a lot of explosion. And I've been using the word juice a lot, which I will continue to be, to do. Um, he, he Kylan Kylan had a little bit of that. Um, and again, coming back from a, from an ACL or a, a, a knee injury. Um, and, and he's not even on a roster right now. So he's certainly out there for you. So um, that's going to wrap up the dynasty stashes. We'll, we'll be coming to you with a, um, a rookie mock here very shortly. We're going to be start doing player profiles for rookies as well, like individually, like 15, 20 minute breakdowns on those guys. Um, so be sure to like, subscribe, comment below. Um, five-star reviews all those good things we appreciate you guys um and you know we got wide receivers and tight ends if you haven't checked those out yet so uh we'll catch you next time peace